Hello everyone, this is Group 23 reporting for duty for our first out-of-class project. On behalf of Catherine Sedwick, Tiago Basilio Dos Santos, and Margarita Babst, this is Andre LeBlanc, and our project is The Chemistry of Neosporin. What is Neosporin exactly? Well, Neosporin is a first aid antibacterial ointment that is applied topically on wounds. The name of Neosporin is derived from the Greek words Neo, which means new, and Sporos, which means seed. Neosporin contains three antibiotics as its active ingredients, Bacitracin, Neomycin, and Polymyxin B in a patented blend of cocoa butter, cottonseed oil, sodium pyruvate, tocopherol acetate, and petroleum jelly. And pardon me if I mispronounce any of those words. I'm kind of winging it right here. But anyway, so this is the chemical structure of one of the active ingredients in the Asporin. This chemical structure happens to be one of the antibiotics, Neomycin B. As you can see, it's composed of mostly oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, where there's a carbon molecule here, and nitrogen. And you can see all these different carbon rings that compose this antibiotic. How Neosporin works is when you get a cut, you place Neosporin on the wound, then cover with a bandage. In theory, this protects the wound from infection from outside bacteria as well as other harmful environmental microbes. The antibiotics in Neosporin slow or stop the growth of harmful bacteria in the wound. Neosporin doesn't necessarily heal faster, but it does prevent infection. Once the skin is wounded, white blood cells surround the wound and begin to fight the infection as the skin gradually repairs itself. Neosporin aids the white blood cells in fighting infection while the body repairs the damaged tissue. As you can see, this is the cut right here and all the white blood cells rushing to the site to stop all the infection from spreading to other areas of the body. And the body will gradually heal itself. As you can see, the um, repaired flesh right here gradually um, replacing the gash that's in the flesh. And... Here's a scar tissue that will eventually rise up towards the um, surface of the skin. Of course, Neosporin is only recommended for wounds as deep as the dermis, which is this layer right here. Anything that gets into the artery or fatty tissue, really need to go to the hospital for. Just a heads up there. Neosporin compared to leading brands of um, antibiotic ointments. By this graph, it seems to cut down of the amount of bacteria that's present in the wounds. As you can see, Neosporin um, has 96% of the skin area that's wounded uh, that's free of bacteria compared to 40% of uh, Bactroban and a generic antibiotic might only have 14% of skin that doesn't have bacteria detected. And here are the figures after 24 hours. According to this graph, Neomycin is the key ingredient for superior infection protection, meaning that's the main um, chemical that uh, kills the bacteria out of all the active ingredients in Neosporin. Of course, some critics argue that the use of Neosporin um, actually promotes um, antibiotic uh, resistant bacteria meaning um, the bacteria that Neosporin doesn't kill um, will eventually reproduce and make some more of this super bacteria which is why like uh, with Neosporin and other antibiotics um, prolonged use of it will really uh, harm people in the long run because our body won't accept um, antibiotics like it used to because of overuse of antibiotics thus it makes um, infections more severe and harder to treat. Here are our references for our out of the class project. We thank you for taking the time to check our project out. We hope you enjoyed it.
Thank you.